cleaning and shaping occurs after the access cavity is complete, the canal orifices have been identified, straight line access is achieved, and working length has been determined. Prepare the following files, size 10, 15, 20, and 25K files, and size 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40 rotary files. Before using any rotary filing technique to clean and shape the canals, the first step is to hand file using size 10K to 25K files. This will establish a glide path, which is a reproducible pathway to the apex. Starting with a size 10K file, slowly explore the canal using the quarter turn in and pull motion until it reaches the working length. In clinical practice, the working length is determined by using an apex locator and or taking a working length radiograph with a file in the tooth. The file should be used until it has minimal binding or resistance within the canal. Remember to irrigate after each file. This prevents the debris from getting pushed and compacted towards the apex, which will block the canal and prevent you from maintaining apical patency. A good tip is to gently pre-curve these smaller hand files. Pre-curving the file allows you to negotiate the curvature within the canal and prevent ledge formation and apical transportation. Next, hand file with a 15K file, repeating the same steps. Note that the 25K file is stiffer and cannot be pre-curved like the smaller files. Remember to recapitulate or go back in with the smaller 10 or 15K file to make sure you have apical patency or no blockages. Step two, rotary filing. Now that you have established the glide path using hand files, you will use Vortex Blue rotary files to clean and shape the rest of the canal. This is the rotary machine that you will be using in both preclinic and clinic. It has two cords. One is a power cord, the other is a cord that attaches to the handpiece. Notice that there is no rheostat, instead there is a push button on the handle, which starts and stops the rotary file. The rotary handpiece must be attached to the handle. It can be attached in different positions with respect to the push button, depending on the angle that you need. To turn the unit on, hold down the power button. Look at the settings displayed on the screen, including speed and torque. These can be adjusted using the plus and minus buttons. Adjust the speed to 350 and torque to 1.6. The auto reverse function should be on with the bracket around the icon. This is a built-in safety measure. When the unit reaches a given torque, it will automatically stop and auto-reverse out of the canal, disengaging the file from the dentin. Vortex Blue comes in packs of size 15 to 40. Start with a size 15, even though we have already hand filed to size 25. Doing so will allow us to safely negotiate the canal. This file should fit very passively with minimal resistance. Insert the file partially, now press the button to start. Use a gentle up and down motion with slight apical pressure. The file should have minimal resistance and reach your working length three times before moving on to the next file. Wipe the flutes of the file clean using the endo sponge or alcohol wipes. Irrigate after each file. It's also helpful to keep a few drops of irrigant within the canal at all times during cleaning and shaping. Repeat these steps using the size 20 rotary file. Remember to use a finger rest, which can be on a neighboring tooth. Here I am just using my other hand as a finger rest because the tooth is not mounted. Recapitulate with a 15K file after every other file to maintain apical patency.
depending on the size of the canal, you will stop at either size 35 or 40. If you cannot reach the working length with a particular file, it is recommended that you go back in with the previous smaller sized file, and then try the larger file again. You may have to go back and forth a few times with these files. Be patient and do not use excessive force. On this plastic tooth, there is still quite a bit of red wax, so I will need to make a few more passes with a size 40 file and plenty of irrigation. <laughs> 